I was super excited when BedJet reached out to us to test out their product. You see, I am a super picky sleeper. I sleep with a fan on for white noise. Let me know in the comments below if you do that as well. I also crank up the AC because I like to sleep when it's cold. I've even been working on a combination of blankets for years to try to keep me as cool as possible. Never really works out, but what I do is I use this loose knit blanket that just sheds everywhere like crazy. That's it's pretty horrible. But I use this underneath and then I use a nice cotton quilted top and that's the best I can get, but I do have to crank that AC up to get it cold enough for me to comfortably sleep. My wife, on the other hand, let me change the lights to show you. You see, my wife is kind of like this area over here and I'm wanting this area over here. She wants it warm when she starts off sleeping and then wants it cooler as she goes on, where I just want it cold the whole night. So we're, we're split there which even makes this product more intriguing to me. In this video, we're gonna be checking it out, testing it out, and seeing how well it works. Before we begin, check out the description below so you can find a link so you can get one for yourself, as well as any updates since I post the video, and occasionally they run specials. I'll try to put those in the comments or in the description when I can. Now let's go check it out. All the parts came in this box right here. We're gonna go up to the room, set it up super quickly, and check it out and get right into this review. So let's go. That was a joke. Let's go back and actually take a look at the real product. We're gonna actually do a proper unboxing now so you can check out the different parts before we go set it up. So let's see what they shipped us. First thing here is a manual that goes through and explains all the warnings, how to set it up. Next up is a remote control. It comes with a battery, good size, and we'll talk about those functions later. There is this doohickey, which looks like it is the part that's gonna hold it against the bed. The thingamabobber number two, which also is the part that holds it against the bed. The last thingamabobber that holds it against the bed as well. Not sure what these are. These are aromatherapy diffuser kit. We'll have to read about that later. This clearly looks like the air hose nozzle piece that's gonna fit right into the sheets. This is the air hose. It's got a nice cloth uh, outer coating on it. That's kind of fun. All right, back to the review. The unit itself. You have the display on the top. You have these switches, the on off, and then the dual zone, which we'll talk about later with the low and the high. In the back, you can see the intake portion and the outtake right here. And one last piece, they sent us the king size dual zone cloud sheet. So this is optional, we'll check it out secondary. I think this is the first time I've ever filmed in our bedroom on this YouTube channel. And it comes with a little bit of a funny story. Yes, Bella, I'll pet you. What happened was she was helping me clean up and her parents texted and asked if we want to go out to eat for lunch. Well, she didn't think about it, texted back and said, I'm helping Paul clean the bedroom so he can film later. We had a little explaining to do. The other thing is, is our bed used to be over here where those pictures are. Our bed is now over here. There are no pictures there. So perhaps later I'll Photoshop in, do some editing to make some fake pictures up there to appease her because I didn't let her order any before I made this video. Those aren't very good pictures of it. This is the first setup. You can see our bed does not have room back here, but there actually might be enough room for the hose to fit between the mattress and the end of the bed. But we're gonna go with the side configuration right now. Maybe we'll move it over there later but I think it actually would work fitting under the bed so no one would even know it's there. We're gonna try out the remote. I need to turn this on. We're gonna try cooling first. This is not an air conditioner with Freon or anything like that. It's just gonna blow the air from the low part of your room, which is cooler than the upper part, and it's gonna blow it under your sheet. It's gonna help cool that off. You know how that hot air just keeps trapped under your blankets? Well, it's gonna do that. So let me go see how that works and you do need some sort of top comforter or something to keep the air underneath there, but it is ballooning up this whole area. And the remote worked first time. It is noticeably cooler underneath the sheets for sure, and you can feel the air coming through here and it's actually coming out the top. I actually like the noise of it. It's just, just a slight fan sound. It's not very loud at all. And that would be a good white noise maker too if you're looking for that. But it's quite enough that if you don't want any noise, it's probably not gonna bother you. All right, we're gonna turn this off. And we're gonna to switch to the dual zone sheet to go check that out. Just to warn you, I'm guessing this is gonna be 
a little wrinkly or have some creases in it because we have not washed it yet clearly as I'm taking it right out of here. Let's spruce that up with a little wrinkle release. How the dual zone works is there is a snap enclosure on the side and as well as the bottom portion right here. You just pull that apart. So we're going to unsnap this. Wow, these are strong snaps. There they go. And that's going to allow us to put that over this nozzle. And then when we turn it on, it's going to balloon up the whole area. There is two on each side, I believe. The single zone has one in the middle as well, but we'll see how this works. All right, here we go. This is working really well. It makes a big pocket of air. You can see a poofy air here. Now we're supposed to put the comforter over top, which we'll do in a second. But what they have is it's connected together at these points. You can see this grid to keep it from just making a giant balloon. And we're gonna go and try this out and see how that works. But it does feel quite nice underneath here. And we'll do some more testing of this shortly. This is separated right in the middle you can see right here where the air is not passing across because we have the dual zone. If we had the single zone, this would fill up the entire mattress. Because it's a dual zone, what we have to do is switch that switch there to dual zone mode if we're going to use the heat. And we're going to put two of them there to fill up both sides. This allows you to have the dual temperature zones. That one can be hot. This one can be the cooler, which is just blowing that colder air from the ground up into your bed to get that humidity off of you and stop it from trapping in there. We're gonna do more testing. I need to put that cover on the top so we can really try this out how it's supposed to be used. We have it all set up how it's supposed to be. I'm gonna lay in here and see what type of heat I can trap under this blanket. This is the weirdest review I've ever done. And then we'll see once we turn it on how well that dissipates that heat. So after about 10 minutes, it got to about 84, 85 degrees under here. We're gonna turn it on to cool and see how quickly that fixes itself. It's already starting to feel a little bit cooler. So it cooled off at least five degrees back to closer to what our temperature is in here. So it is definitely working. And as far as how it feels, it definitely feels much cooler. We're gonna try the heat settings up now. So we're gonna switch it over to heat and see how warm it gets underneath here. And I'm immediately feeling warm air getting pumped into the bed. This might be nice if it was winter time and I wanted to heat up the bed here because that would get my feet all warm and, and underneath here. Yeah, I can definitely feel it's getting warmer now. 89 degrees, 90 degrees under here. So it's definitely warming it up. Yeah, that was a kitchen thermometer. What we can also do is use the remote to turn this to mute. So whenever I stop this, it's gonna stop without having to make sounds, which could be nice if it's nighttime. You can also increase and decrease and set a timer on here. Let me go show you the control panel. You can see there's a display on top of it and it goes right with here. So if you hit the mute button, it's gonna show you what's going on. You can unmute it as well. If I decrease the fan speed or increase it all the way up, I can do that the little snowflake is on or I can put it on heat and now it's going to switch over to heat mode. I do not want it on heat right now so let's switch it back. There is also an app for this which looks just like the remote. You can see it's connecting right now to the unit. It was very easy to set up. You can see that it shows you how much time is left in the off timer. You can see the air temperature, the alarm, airflow, and you can keep changing that. It's up to 85% the heat setting, whether it's muted or not. And you can even select if it's muting the beeps or the LEDs. So it has all those options. You got the timer, you even have different settings and such. You can do your biorhythm and sleep cycle. This looks just like a remote. So if you don't want to use your remote all the time or there's two of you, you might be able to change it. Pretty cool. We're gonna try this for a little while, let you know how it goes as we get back to the studio after we elapse some time. So let's go back to the studio. We're back in the studio after some time has elapsed and we've got to try out the BedJet V2. We're gonna talk about what we like and what we don't like about it. One quick thing I forgot to talk about in the video is if this does not fit under your bed and takes up too much floor space, you can buy a vertical stand for it so it sits up and takes up less room. 
You can also buy an extension for this portion allow you to put it in a different location that gives you a little bit more range as well. So you can check that out all on their website, but just wanted to make sure you knew about that. First, what we do like. I have been using the cold setting and I actually had to turn it down because I was chilly at night. That is just amazing for me. I never get chilly at night. I actually could adjust this though and get it fine tuned to the right amount of airflow to get it just perfect for me. On the hot side, my wife is looking forward to next winter. It does heat up your feet right away, heats up the rest of your body, gets you ready to go to bed, can kick off, and you're going to bed toasty warm. Next winter, that will be awesome for us. Now, kind of that middle ground, just to let you know where it gets the borderline, maybe some people wouldn't like this and maybe some of the people would be fine. If you have the airflow all the way on and you have a really nice blanket that's gonna hold that air, the only spot for really it to go in our bed was kind of out by my head and I could feel a little bit of air flowing past my face whenever it's on the highest setting. If you turn that down a little bit, I didn't notice at all. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. The only other thing to note on the dislikes depends on what type of sleeper you are. If you have to curl up all the blankets on the bed and curl it around you, this isn't gonna work that great for you because it has to have a sheet that's more flat and ballooned up with that air to really get it distributed around the bed. And if you do that, it kind of traps the air and keeps it from getting to everywhere. Now it would probably still get to your feet. So if that's all you need, that's fine. You can only curl up with the blankets underneath that top sheet so that air is distributed and then it goes from there. But again, if you're gonna curl up with everything, it's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for this thing to work. Other than that, we do like it a lot. We're looking forward to the summer and the winter using this thing. My wife's actually asking for it right now. I have to take it up to my room. Again, links in the description below so you can get one for yourself. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can watch more videos just like this one and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. This has been Paul with the Bedjet V2. Thank you for watching. Bella, you're looking good there. Should we do a quick photo shoot? Let's do it.